What is up CrossFitters? In today's video, I am coming at you from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. So from one coast to the, the next, east coast to west coast, the, the journey has been made and now it's time to get going with a, with a new life. And uh, yeah, so I want to hit up another video with you guys, uh, keep things going. And in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is continuing on with the discussion that I started a few videos ago about uh, the Stoics and namely Marcus Aurelius. I'm going through his meditations. The main reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to, I already know for myself what I need to do physically to get in shape, stay strong, stay active. But the harder part is the mental. The harder part is making sure that your mentality, that your brain is right, that your mind is right, that you're, you're, you're getting yourself into that right zone to grow both physically and mentally. And uh, in today's video, what I want to discuss is the idea of what does it take to be a good man or a good person? You know, this, this applies for women and men as well. But uh, since I'm speaking from, from his book, uh, I'm just going to use his lines and the words that he chose. And uh, his favorite line or his famous quote, I don't know if it's his favorite one, his famous quote of waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. I like this line because it's simple and it's straightforward and you know might seem like there's not much nuance to it, but I think there, that's the whole point of it is that we take way too much time trying to argue with each other over what does what is good, what is a good person, what does a good person do? And ultimately when it comes down to it, we know what a good person is. We can sense a good person. And what I like about it is in meditations, one of the, one of the things he states is that goodness is it's almost like an odor. Um, if someone has BO, <laughs> you don't have to think about it. You can smell it off the person and you know to stay away. And if they have a good smell, if they're wearing cologne and they're keeping clean and fresh, then you want to be close to them and you're okay and you can sense that right off of them. But so is the difference between goodness and badness, where you can see it in someone's eyes, you can see it in their demeanor, you can see it in how they present themselves, and you can get that that intuition, that gut instinct of whether or not they are a good person or bad. Now, some people are very good at hiding it, some people can can be deceptive and can bury it, but eventually it does come out. Eventually you find out what kind of person you're dealing with. And hopefully you're able to live off of, you're able to operate off of your intuition and your your own personal sense of whether or not you think this person is good. And it does come down to subjective. I, people can consider good subjective. Like what is good to one person might not be good to another. But I think the principles of being good are Kind of universal and today i just want to talk about my first principle the principle that i think is number one and that is your word and that is telling the truth you can't handle the truth i think uh, i think telling the truth and being truthful and being honest is probably the most important at least to me it's the most important um component of being a good person uh we go about our day just go throughout your day and, and try to think about all the different situations and all the different things you get yourself up to and into. And how often do you find yourself making even white lies, just little lies here, little lies there, nothing big that in your mind you think you can, okay, this is, this is something that I'm okay with doing. And do, are you, are you being honest with yourself? And ultimately that's going to be a big factor in your own mental and physical well-being is if you can look at yourself in the mirror every day and say, I'm going out there today, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be a good person, I'm going to give it my best to present to the world the image that I want other people to try to emulate as well. And if we can start off with that, that truthfulness, that honesty, I think that's a big one. Um, don't make vain promises. Don't be that person that says, yes, I'm going to do this or yes, I'm going to do that. And then you don't deliver on it. It's better that you don't say anything than you agree to doing something and then you don't follow through with it. I honestly, if we're going to use the terminology of a good man, a man's word is his bond. A man's bond is everything. And if you don't have the integrity and the honesty to be, to be honest and to be truthful, then you're missing out on a big part um, 
of what it is to be a good person. And uh, I just know this from my own experience where, where I'm not someone who likes to make promises. I don't flippantly, I don't like to throw things out. If somebody asks for help, I try my best if I can, but I also try not to promise. I, f I feel, I feel this way. I don't know if it's the truth. I don't know if this is actually how I come across or I present myself, but to me, if I'm going to make a promise to someone, like someone asks me if I can help them with this or help them with that, or can I spare a moment? I say yes, if I know that I will do it, because otherwise to me, that, that brings me down. That makes me feel bad. If I just vainly say, yes, I can help you with this. And then I don't show up or I show up late or I don't do a good job because that they're going to leave that situation. They're going to leave that interaction and go, wow, that guy's not as good as I thought he was, or he's not honest. And maybe it doesn't impact directly your life if you're being dishonest, but down the road it will. Like the people that you associate with, they won't either, they either won't associate with you anymore or they're going to look at you in a different light and they're going to treat you differently and maybe not include you in as many things or not consider you for other, other things down the road if you get that reputation as being someone who is dishonest and who doesn't stick true to their word. And there's a lot of components that go into being a good person, to being a good man, to being a good woman, but for me, the first principle that I want to get across is this idea of truthfulness, of, of being honest. And it doesn't mean you have to be right. It, like we're wrong all the time and we don't, we shouldn't worry about being right or wrong. We should just be, we should be worried mostly about, are we being genuine and are we being true to ourselves? You know, at the end of the day, I know I keep repeating this idea of the conscious and the voice and the voices in your head that are saying, you know, do this, do that, your gut instincts, your, your maybe even animalistic instincts. and what it comes down to is though at the end of the day if you're lying in bed and you're having a hard time sleeping you're tossing and turning and and your anxiety is high you have to reflect on what did you do for the day what was it how did you interact with other people how did you treat them how did they treat you and really start to be introspective on whether or not you can lay down at, at, at go to sleep and feel good about what what you said and what you did and um I know for me, I think uh, I think <laughs> I've always been involved for the last few years uh, doing the personal training and and helping people with their physical fitness. Um, and then I had a, like the brief stint with the car sales. I've always been involved in some sort of sales. And I don't know if it's I don't know if it's been a hindrance to me where I have a hard time where I maybe I'm too honest and I'm too I, I say I don't really have much of a filter. I basically just say whatever I'm thinking and. Um, and that can get you in trouble. But for me, I feel like that's something that I don't want to give up in myself where I don't want to hide the the truth and the honesty of my own my own feelings and my own sense, because then you're just you're just lying to yourself ultimately. And um, and yeah, I think I think that's a big thing is that you don't want to lie to yourself. You don't want to lie to others. And if you can adhere to that code of honesty and honor, um, that's a that's an awesome foundation to be building off of because lies I, I do I do believe in regardless of where you fall religiously or spiritually there I do think there is a, a truth in the karmic debt idea or the comeuppance or get you know what goes around comes around any of those statements and if you're lying and if you're building your life around dishonesty That'll get you that'll get you far maybe financially that might get you far career wise for a bit but I do think that ultimately karmatically it does come back to bite you later on where where maybe you, uh, a, a perfect example of that would be something like uh, in uh, uh, the movie there will be blood where Daniel Plainview is just he's ruthless he's cutthroat he'll lie he'll still steal he'll cheat because his ultimate end goal in that movie, or his ultimate goal as a oil baron, as a carpet bagger, whatever you want to call them, um, his ultimate goal is just to make money, to be rich, to be wealthy. And in the process, he ruins the life of his adopted child. He ruins other people's lives. He destroys a village or a town. He just, he gets what he wants in the end. He has the mansion. He has all the, the money and the wealth. But He's destroyed the lives of other people and his own family along the way. And at the end of the day, he's a bitter old man who who his last act of violence ends up 
just showing that he has fallen down this this hole that he can't dig himself back out from. And it's that's a great example of where 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 do we put our priorities? Where do we put our energy? And ultimately, starting off being a good man means being honest, being truthful, and trying not to hurt or harm anybody with our words. We we can do it by accident, you know, sins of omission or or where we just inadvertently like that that does happen but ultimately if we're trying our best to be as honest as possible and then to correct any mistakes that we do make when it comes to telling the truth if we can make that our first principle and our and our beginning point everything else is going to grow off of that and we're going to be better for it and we can make the world a better place for it as well so that's my video for today i'm excited to be back in vancouver i can't wait to see what i can do here the kind of videos i can put out once again if you like my content, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. I want to be able to grow a community where we can all build ourselves up mentally, spiritually, physically to be the best we possibly can and to help improve society at the same time. Because if we all work on ourselves and we all work together, then we can't fail. There's no way that that can go wrong and that that can be a negative thing. So thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. Can't wait to talk to you in the next one. And as always, David out.